in this example, I've finished, uh, nearly I finished my first uh, chapter, or my first experience for students using modules. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a couple of assignments that um, they're going to be working on through this module or through the course. Um, in order to do so, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and click the plus sign. And this is going to be an assignment that I've already created called uh, under homework practice one. I'm going to indent it so it's clear that this falls under this text heading. And if I so chose, I could also even go ahead and start working on the uh, second practice item. So instead of choosing to add an assignment that I've already created, I can always choose to create a new assignment or a new any kind of material. So this one might be called uh, practice two. And um, then I've gone ahead and I've created the hierarchy for my module with some clear uh, navigation and text headers, text head headers as well. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how we both publish a module and making sure uh, that you've turned modules on in your course. Because right now, since these all have X's, this is simply just a way for me to organize my content material in advance of publishing it to students.